and then a welcome to Time Team again. Thank very you. nice to see you. I remember last time we talked that you said how useful it was to have a divergence of opinion on sites, that the exchange of different hypotheses between an intelligent group of individuals was rather good. And it seems to me you and Guy had a bit of a punch up at one stage around this site and a, a divergence of opinion, I think you might call it. And so I wanted to start by asking you, do you have a memory of that? And what are your memories about the site in general? Well, the thing about Guy is he's got such strong opinions and um, and he's prepared to argue them till the cows come home. But also he's prepared to slightly move the goalposts so that so that if he's tried to take you down one tack that's far too precise and he realizes he can't hold on to it. He tends to say things like, I never said, you know, I never I never said that I was only talking about brooches or something in this case. But we were we were we were trying to thrash out what this site was. And of course, Romanists, they're obsessed with with putting things in boxes. They've got a box marked towns and a box marked villa and a box marked small towns and, and forts and fortresses and signal stations and mancios and um, you know it goes on and on and on and they they think to themselves what box can we put this in um oh well it doesn't it doesn't look like a villa it doesn't look like a town and it's not a fort you know and then the last box left so something like industrial site because they don't know what that looks like and all they have to do is to see something that you could sell whatever it is pottery pigs brooches and they say oh somebody must have been making that and I just felt that we were going too too we were boxing ourselves in too quickly and I could and I still can't see any evidence for that being a manufacturing well, site. Can you give us a slight overview of the site first? Why did we go yeah. there? What we were hoping to find? Yes. Now, this site was an enigma and I am with, you know, even at the time and particularly with hindsight, I am really proud of Time Team having had the gut to go for it because it was not the kind of thing that you would think necessarily well it certainly wasn't easy should we put it that way it was a site that had a lot of metal detector finds and when I say a lot I mean a ridiculous amount it looked like someone had gathered up what should come from half a county and put them onto one field um, they were they were not the whole run of everything you'd get from a, a Roman site, though. There, there were far too many brooches, um, which tend to suggest that the site is being used early in the Roman period. Um, brooches are really in fashion in the late Iron Age and the first century AD, or the, the ones that we were finding there. And it also had coins from the third and fourth centuries, so it was, it was long lived. And it also had a little smattering of the things that people think are characteristic of temples. So that, you know, to say temple to a time team researcher, and they immediately sit up and take notice, it seems. Um, but well, and there was geophysics that had been done uh, beforehand. So we knew that there was a lot of archaeology. Um, I think it was a, a relatively restricted area of geophysics. So you could kind of make up the idea that there might be you know a temple site a villa site something just outside but really that was pretty much it um and uh and that's where the risk came um, because there was no obvious reason for it being an important site it's not near any other major important place it doesn't fit into the landscape in any way um that you can uh that you can point out you know roads um it, it's it's not part of a suburb of Lincoln or anything like that. It's it's a bit baffling. No one was expecting it there. If we've got people who are thinking about watching this, what why would you tell them to watch it? Why watch Wickenby? Well, actually, it's a, it's a couple of things that that Tony says really right at the start. He 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 flags it up. He says, "Should we even be here? What are we going to be able to do?" Um, uh, this, is is it should we just turn around and go home this is all we've bitten off more than we can chew kind of thing and then there's a pub scene where he says something along the lines of um the geophysics is like spaghetti uh there's there's thousands of blobs of of uh, archaeology you know, all these archaeology archaeological splodges which we can't understand uh without being really careful with them and really 
asking them a lot of questions more than just are you a wall um we've got a lot we've got masses of evidence but perhaps too much evidence to sort it out in three days but you see the reason i think you should watch it is because it epitomizes something that i love about archaeology which is its mystery there we have an enormous amount of evidence there's evidence coming out of your ears you could spend one person could spend an entire career in that field and would by the end of it have sorted out a story but it might take that long and and you shouldn't come away thinking oh well that great big team in three days and they didn't even find out what it was what we did was we found out an awful lot of things and we deepened the mystery and what what we came away with thinking is and I, I did think at the end when Guy seemed to be kind of saying this is quite an ordinary place in a way no it's not it is absolutely extraordinary and that we haven't fully understood it in three days means that not only is it quite extraordinary but there might be a whole a whole layer of these sites across all of Roman Britain, which we can't see, we couldn't see. You might easily have built a housing estate over that in the 1960s because you, you wouldn't get stopped by stone walls. We haven't been able to see until now. And that is really exciting. The Romans aren't just these boring people who are a bit like the Victorians. They are extraordinarily interesting. Um, and that's what Wickenby says to me, that, that archaeology has still got a really long way to go.